তোমার শুটিং এর মধ্যে কোনো তো লাভ নেই না কিন্তু লাইট প্রথমে যাবে হ্যাঁ তাহলে কি হয়েছে ও দেখাটা কিন্তু ব্যাপার না ইয়া হ্যালো গুড আফটারনুন एवरीवन वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टू दिस एनपीटेल कोर्स ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन एंड कंट्रोल सो आई वाज थिंकिंग अबाउट हैविंग अ live interaction session with all students because uh, that really gives a feeling of a nationwide classroom and it's very uh, satisfying i think it it may also be helpful it will help me to understand the difficulties you are facing uh, or you may also get to know some things that you that 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 may come to your mind so you know being being in a course in control this is this is real live feedback previously we were going you know somewhat like somewhat in open loop so now we are closing the loop so i would i have not prepared anything for this session i am not going to teach anything but i would welcome questions we already have some questions but uh, and i can answer some selected questions but and we are we are we are ready with other questions so if you have questions please uh, send them in the chat and we'll pick it up and try to answer some of them to the best of our abilities if we cannot answer some we will take them back and we will probably come back to you with more information thank you very much so uh, i'm just asking the staff is it is it because i mean i'm not able to see anything so i'm just speaking blank to a camera yes sir uh, so is there a way that i can see some people some people can come no no, no sir right now not possible only uh, interact with chat oh that but 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 that's not the way it happened last time last time i could speak to many places so then so then it is not an interaction that way no sir online just chat session sir the interaction yeah, so is only chat sir now so then we can we, we can chat then i mean we, we don't need the camera sir all us uh, all us see your face see now they are seeing my face but but you see i am not seeing their face so, so it is like you know speaking to i mean i don't know who i who, who i am speaking to this is not this is not what i expected Because unless you see a face you don't know who you are talking to anyway uh so i am looking at the questions unfortunately i am not able to see you so i am looking forward i am seeing a blank camera but uh, nevertheless let me spend some time uh so one question says i didn't understand the concepts in control systems can you suggest some material to study well this is not a question that can be answered because control system is a huge you can you can read some standard books in control system is actually a very big area so i think there are there are many excellent textbooks that you can study uh for example there is a textbook by franklin and powell which i like very much there is a, a textbook by goodwin uh who are the authors of the of that book goodwin and do you know do you remember uh, song uh, you can you can we can we can look it up goodwin control yeah yeah goodwin gc goodwin stefan grabe and mario salgado mario ha ah, goodwin mario and 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 and, and mario salgado that's an that's an excellent textbook probably one of the best control system textbooks that i have seen control system design by gc goodwin stefan grabe and uh, mario salgado so we are just we are just typing the name so so the name we we have just sent it in the chat it's a it's a fantastic textbook 
you can have a look what are the softwares we need to use for PLC programming according to recent trends? See, you can, every manufacturer of PLCs, PLCs provide, a, provide an environment you can, in which you can program. So, there are uh, various software environments from manufacturers. Even apart from that, there are, there are other, uh, there are other open softwares, I'm suppo I, I suppose. Possibly we can we can answer this question better by uh, we can we can we can send some information. I am talking to my TAs and you know compile a list of good PLC programming tools okay. and send. Where can I get some job opportunity details in the automation field? Not really sure. In first year, you cannot. In first year, you cannot get into an automation industry. But there are. So I, I, I guess you will have to apply to. You will have to apply to companies like you know Siemens, etc. And in fact, there are many. For example, all steel plants require automation people. All all chemical processes, refineries require people in people in automation, also in manufacturing. So, job opportunities are there quite, I, I think quite a bit and I mean automation is, is coming up very much. If you read newspaper, you will see that the manufacturing industry in our, in our country is coming up very well. What is the benefit of this course after my graduation? I guess it is only knowledge. As I, as I wrote in the introduction to the course, one of my students said that one of the benefits of this course is that if you happen to be in a factory, you are likely to understand, I mean recognize equipment and understand what those equipments are used for. That is in short a benefit of this course. So you can, you, I mean unlike other undergraduate courses particularly who may, which may mainly talk about theoretical concepts and you know I mean they are, they, are, they are more conceptual. This course is practical and talks about various uh, equipment and systems. That is one of the benefits of this course. What is the required score of submitting assignment online? I do not think there is any, there is any required score. You first submit the answers to the assignments and then you get a score. Currently, I am not very satisfied with your score. I think you have to, the average, the last average score of week 6 assignments were, yeah, they were a little simpler. But I, I am expecting for, for the level in which the week 6 assignment is there, I, I would expect at least uh, an average score of 65 to 70. We are getting only 52. So, I think uh, there is the, uh, the, the scores that we are, that I am seeing are not satisfactory to me. Will you please explain inverse system transfer function? You mean inverse response system transfer function. Uh, that is also, you, you, you can read about inverse response systems and can I write? Where, where are the pens? Yes. So I think what you are talking about is uh, this, this is meant for right handed for people. So what you are talking about is inverse response systems. They are, these are systems with what is called right half plane zeros. That means there is a zero which is like if you have a zero like you know s minus 2. 
if you have a factor in your numerator transfer function as s minus 2 in the transfer function say g s equal to s minus 2 by s plus 1 into 2 s plus 1. So, this kind of systems this is an in system with R s p 0. They create problems because these systems have they are they are you know somewhat like time delay systems and they uh, have a they introduce extra phase lags number one because of this 0 which is in the right half plane. So, any system with uh, 0 is mm, systems with zeros are uh, with right half plane zeros are difficult to control because they introduce phase lag that is number one. Number two is another thing is that you cannot there are many control controllers which uh, for example, if you have a system if you have a plant transfer function which is like s plus 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3 say s plus 2 into 2 s plus 1 then you can easily and you want to get a. So, you can easily if you if, if, if this is the plant. So, you can easily put a controller which have can have a transfer function of let us say 2 s plus 1 on top and s plus 1 at the bottom. So, if you have this and if you have the loop and if you close it then you see that this 0 and this pole can be cancelled this these thing these will get cancelled and the transfer function will be. So, it will be equivalent to having a first order system this will be 1 by s plus 2 and this will be. So, if you do this, but so this will be your closed loop system, but if you have a non minimum self 0 is if this 0 was s in place of being s plus 1 if it was s minus 1 then you cannot have a pole 0 cancellation like this because then this transfer function will be unstable and you will get here the output will be unstable. So, you will get internal stability problem there will be there will be some signals which will go unbounded. So, these are some of the problems that you have with uh, with uh, uh, inverse response systems, but this is again a, 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 a much more involved concept and uh, you can read about these in uh, the textbooks that I have mentioned. In our book on industrial automation and control also it has been dealt in some detail these things are there also with uh, uh, some process control books. So, the in inverse in inverse response systems are I think you, you are you uh, somebody has written Saish Kalaskar he has written that he is not able to find more about inverse systems, but I think can we type inverse response systems in the in in Google and see what response we get. I think you will get a lot of response because in the because in the stand it, it is very it, it, it is quite standard in Google. Yeah. So, so there are there are uh, I am just I have just typed inverse response systems in Google and I, I, I got many responses many lecture notes. So, you can see them it is not a very uh, difficult topic to find an answer about, but if you have some specific question then you can forward it to us and we will try to answer that. Numerical question and example similar to assignment should be in, in your lecture Mr. Mukund Kumar. I understand your concern, but these these lectures were recorded long long time back and uh, but the I can tell you that the questions and the exam I mean examples are that that you are getting in assignments are 
completely based on the material that, that we have covered. And they are not that difficult, but you have to, you have to try. You cannot, uh, they are, you, you, uh, and, those, and those questions are actually really designed by us. So you may not find such questions in, in, in other books, but since this is an assignment, so you have some time to answer them. So if you carefully look at them, then uh, <coughs> you, can, you, can, you can find answers. But yes, they are not in my, in my lectures because the lectures were recorded long time back. What are the recent trends in, if you have, if, if anybody has a, has any problem about what any particular numerical question, then we can, we can, we can answer that. We solve each and every one of them before they are sent to you as assignments. What are the recent trends in process control in industries? This question is too vague to be answered in, in this span of this thing. Give me some sites, some guidance to do some basic prototype projects. No, this, uh, such questions cannot be answered. Is there any other interesting question? Uh, he wants to know about uh, automation in aerospace industries. What is that? I want to know about automation in aerospace industry. Means any technology automation in aerospace industry. First of all, I, I don't know exactly what you mean by aerospace industry. I, I hope you mean, you know, the aerospace. I, I do not know whether you mean by aerospace industry, if you mean the airlines, then the automation in the aerospace industry, for example, there is a lot of automation in, let us say, uh, luggage handling. So in, so in material handling systems, there is a lot of automation. You can, you know, if you see, a, I don't know whether you have ever gone to a, really large airport, but they actually carry out hundreds of, they, they actually uh, accept and route and uh, send literally millions of pieces of luggage within a very short time. So they, use this, so they use very sophisticated, you know, detecting equipments, various kinds of conveyors. So that's one kind of automation. If you mean the airline service industry, if you mean the airline manufacturing industry, then extremely sophisticated automation is used in you know, airline manufacturing because you can understand that they are very, very sophisticated equipment and, and, and the equipment in an, in an airline are, are not really manufactured at one place. So, that, so the engines come from some, some place, the, the avionics come from some other places and the, and the body comes and, and the final assembly takes place in a factory. So there, there is obviously a, a massive amount of manufacturing automation in the in the aerospace industry. Another question is that does industrial automation control include robotics or is it a different? Thing? Of course, it uses robotics. So robot robots are robots are a part of automation, but but you know robotics is by itself robotics is a is a subject which uh, which. Uh, sort of integrates many other areas. So in this, in this case, we, we, we have, we just, we have usually talked about, I mean, sensors and actuators and we, and, and they are not specifically addressed towards robotics. Although robotics is a part of automation, but we have not dealt with robotics in a, in any detail in this uh, course. There is a question which says how to make communication between HMI and ladder logic. I, I, I don't understand this question. HMI is, is the man-machine interface. Using an HMI, you can see the execution of ladder logic. As ladder logic gets executed, the using HMI, you can track you can change ladder logic using HMI, but that's the that's not online, that's a that's a real-time interface. But even during execution, you can you can see the execution using HMI. What is the basic formula of PID controller and how to properly tune a handheld PID controller? I don't exactly understand what is the basic formula of PID controller. We, PID controllers, I mean, what is the form of the equation that we have 
that is explained in the in the lecture and some some PID controller tuning is actually a very vast area they are literally hundreds of tuning rules which are applicable to various kinds of processes. So, how to properly tune a handheld PID controller? Handheld PID controller will be tuned just like any other PID controller and there are there, there are there are various approaches to tune a PID controller some of them we have talked about. Uh, so, you if you are interested it is it's a it is a it is a field in itself, but nowadays uh, I mean there are there are auto tuning algorithms there are manual tuning. So, when you are saying how to properly tune a handheld PID controller probably you are talking about man, manual tuning. So, how to properly tune a handheld PID controller will, will depend on the you can you can even do it by do it by trial and error uh, strategies by working on experimental data etcetera. Yeah. Any innovation by automation that you can think of in a unique industry. <laughs> I, I these, these, these questions that are coming they are actually non specific and they are uh, they are they are not really I mean they are they are just too broad for me to un to answer any innovation via automation that we can think of in the av avionics industry. I cannot sitting here I cannot tell you about innovation. Innovation is something that you have to that one has to work on very seriously for 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 considerable periods of time. Yeah, so then yeah, so my let me introduce my TAs. So, we have Desham Mitro, Desham you can show your face, who is a who is one of the teaching assistant, he is a he, he, he is a research student working with me and there is Drupad Bishash, who is also a research student working with me, they are all working in the in the automotive controls area working on hybrid electric vehicles that is their research topic, but they have they are very kindly assisting me in this course. So, Drupad is telling uh, Desham is telling me that whether I can tell you something about industry 4.0. So, being a being a student of industrial automation if you want to know at least one very important trend you can uh, learn about industry 4.0 just type let us type let us type industry 4.0 just try type uh, write it in the chat that write it in the chat that type industry 4.0 in Google. So, now let us type. So, if you type industry 4.0 in Google, you will find uh, it is the so so Wiki, Wikipedia says Wikipedia is a very I like that source. So, although it people say that it's not always uh, not all of it is very verified that there are there are various kinds of you know qualities of material etc. But that's fine. I find it very useful. So it says that industry 4.0. Let let's read this. So, you can also go to Wikipedia and find out it is the if, if those I, I find some people really interested in this current trends of automation and in manufacturing technology industry 4.0 is certainly a very major current trend which is going to which is sweeping the world. So, it is the application of just like it is the application of you know communication AI information technologies in automation. So, it says uh, it includes so it, it includes various concepts like you know cyber physical systems, internet of things, cloud cloud computing, cognitive computing which is related to AI and uh, bringing the power of these systems in into into manufacturing uh, and uh, well. Uh, so, that is a that that is a very modern trend which is uh, currently being pursued. So, you can learn about that that is something that is certainly worth, worth mentioning. In fact, I was at some point I was thinking if, if I I will consider it if I can have some 
uh, live lectures on industry 4.0 in this course i'm not sure but i if i can i i will yeah so there are so so they say that there are four there are so far there have been three industrial revolutions and we are right now in the middle of the fourth industrial revolution so you can read about it it's very exciting So, is there any relation between automation and computational switch? <laughs> what questions? <laughs> is there any relation between automation and, and computation fluid dynamics? If you want me to answer in one word, I will say no. I, I, I wonder whether you have, you have got exposure in, in computational fluid dynamics. Computational fluid dynamics is a, is a numerical simulation subject it's 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 a it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a theory of numerically simulating very complex fluid fluid and heat transfer phenomena not related to automation at all and a very very little connection between them yeah Yeah, so we'll we'll wait here for another five ten minutes, and then questions will be great. Then we will close this session. <laughs> Sir, what is the scope of Industry 4.0 in India? Industry 4.0 is a is is a set of technologies. So it has it has no scope. Not only scope in India, it it it, it will have scope worldwide. So it has scope in all manufacturing industries so it obviously has scope in india in, in in all manufacturing industries so but these technologies are just being developed so particularly for students like you who can who may be interested in you know looking up looking for research areas looking for technologies which are getting developed looking looking for innovation i saw somebody asking a question on innovation industry 4.0 is a very very uh, exciting area. So, you may like to know about it. Adesh Tambrakar. Yeah. Mm. I will talk about so, but there is no question on that. No, no point talking about it. But I would like to know whether there is any difficulty being felt. Is there any difficulty? Is there any difficulty in assignment? I, I, we are not, uh, are we getting any response in the chat? Yeah, they are asking some questions regarding that, but they are getting answered. I am answering them accordingly. But that's not like they are not understanding something. Hmm. But but still, I, I then if 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 there are no if there are no major questions, I would like to understand why 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 the average mark is only fifty two point two. I mean, I am very surprised about that. With this, with seven days time and you know our ten questions, I, I would expect that the that the that the uh, that the average score will be hundred point zero. It should be. Why not? So, so apparently there are some difficulties. I want to understand what they are. I'll tell you one thing. If you want, if you want job in automation companies, the first thing you need is a, is a, is, is a very good academic performance. Not only in this subject, but in all others. So that's, that's the first thing needed. How can we learn about industry 4.0? You are in the you are in the age of Google, so you can learn about industry 4.0 first by reading. 
learning is so easy nowadays just read i am surprised by your questions though good how can we determine stability from nyquist plot so you have to you have, you have, you have to you have to check check gain margin and stay, uh, gain margin and phase margin that's one way you have to check the encirclements of the of, of the minus 1 j0 point these these questions are i think very adequately explained in, in all control system textbooks if you read it there are there are there are i mean literally hundreds of examples of how to check stability of a transfer function please go and read those books what type of control are used in micro reactors for lab in lab on issue can't say this questions the so if i i mean this question does not make much sense because what what type of controllers are used in micro reactors what is the reaction what is being controlled is it is it is it is it, is it temperature which is being controlled or is it uh, composition which is being controlled or is it pressure being controlled it will depend on that cannot be answered this question electron is a doubt in encirclement encirclement of the minus 1 plus j0 so actually what we should do is probably what i am thinking is shunun shunun ye kothay ache dekhte parben shiv shankar babu ke i think what we should do this is not not, not the not, not the way to do it I, th i think we should collect questions first and then hold an interaction session like this more questions yeah so i think we should collect questions and then 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 hold an interaction session So you ask him, what is your doubt? What is the modern day PLC software we need to learn? Uh, no, we will inform you of the list of softwares. No, uh, no, uh, not uh, list of software. We will inform you. You, you can, you can take any standard manufacturer, Allen Bradley, Siemens, and then follow that that line. But anyway, we can, we can, we can do a list also. We can, we can study. We didn't study that. what i am thinking is that you see they are they are these, these questions that are coming they are not useful because they have not i i think no no that's okay no nothing wrong in that <laughs> uh, so so what i am saying is that let uh, it would be much better if we if we collect questions from students hmm. so we announce that we will have a so we we will have a live session let us say uh, 15 days from now and then please give your questions so we we, we stop 7 days before the live session we stop taking questions so there is a 7 day window when we say that we are going to have a have a session 15 days later give us questions so i will collect 7 days questions then i will come and answer those questions that will be better right now the questions they are coming they are they are they are, they are not related to the when they are they are related very vaguely to the to the course yeah i am not getting proper i mean i it is apparent to me that they are not they are not ready neither am i ready if you have to explain something then then you have to come with come with a preparation so i think that will be a good idea hmm, although it was announced but uh, we will announce like that that i will accept questions up to 7 days then i'll close it i'll not accept further questions but those 7 days questions i will answer Yeah so so we can have it 
so we can have it just next week. If if people send questions in the in the next, huh? Correct. No, no, that's right. So so you we can do that. What are the modern, I mean, all the, the questions?